Hi guys, welcome back to the uh, Quants question of the day 5. Again, another, another interesting question from number systems here. And it's not just number systems that you, that you learn when you do number systems. You also build logic for, for numerical and mathematical problem solving, which is very important in the quant reasoning questions as well as the logical DI questions that you that you come across apart from the other chapters of maths. So, so you, you develop a kind of critical logical th thought structure when you do questions like these. And that's one of the reasons why I'm picking up questions like these, which are actually a mix of not just number systems, but also in this case, you will see that we'll also be using a little bit of arithmetic progressions to solve this. And this is the question for you today. If you form a subset of integers chosen from between 1 to 3000, such that no two integers, and you have to understand that, that, uh, that part of the language, no two integers, add up to a multiple of 9 and I always tell you that there are triggers inside the question that tell you what to do. The difference between the great solvers and the average sol solvers or, the, or even the great and the good is the quality of the understanding of the triggers. So what do I want here? No two integers add up to a multiple of 9. What can be the maximum number of elements in the subset? Include both 1 and 3000. So I'm looking for number of elements in the subset. Now, again, just like we did in the previous question, let's try to think that if these numbers are a little So instead of 1 to 3000, if they had told me, if they had told me 1 to 30, and I had to build the structure for how many numbers can I take out, I want to form a subset of integers. From My numbers are 1 to 30. So I want to take out uh, numbers, a subset, such that no two integers should add to a multiple of 9. And then I am going to try to maximize this subset. I have to get the maximum number of elements in the subset. So if I think think about this, what I should be able to think, or the way I can, I can start thinking, is that if I use, let's say, because they are talking about multiples of 9, if I just briefly show you the very expanded solution to this, Let's say, of course, for, for engineering students, I don't need to show this, but, but I have realized in my teaching experiences that uh, uh, some people who are not so mathematically oriented have a difficulty understanding these things uh, without the actual lowdown uh, on the explanation. So let me first try to do, give you the, like, the basic bottom line lowdown of the explanation. The way I would explain this to a 7th standard kid who is not uh, very well equipped mathematically. So if these are my numbers, now I want to make, make my subset. I want to make my subset from these numbers. That's my objective. And uh, my objective is also that in the subset, no two numbers should add up to multiple of 9. That's my objective over the subset. So which means that if I if I take if I pick up let's say the number one and I put it in the subset, then what that does is it cancels eight because one plus eight gives me nine. I cannot take eight any longer. It cancels seventeen because I cannot take seventeen also because one plus seventeen gives me eighteen. It cancels out twenty six also. I cannot take one plus twenty six. So what happens is, uh, if I take 1, I cancel 8, 17 and 26. And because 8, 17 and 26 are cancelled, then I can, I can easily go ahead and take the numbers 10, 19 and 28. I can put those numbers in my subset without any fear because the numbers that will add to 28, for example, to give me a multiple of 9 are the numbers 8, 17 and 26 only in this list. You can check that. No other numbers will add up to 28 and give me a multiple of 9. So I am free to take any more numbers from here now if I have taken these four numbers. And if I, as far as I have eliminated these for, uh, for uh, 1, they also get eliminated for 10, 19 and 28. Now those of you who are a little bit mathematically inclined, who algebraically inclined realize that what is happening here 
is that if I define each of these numbers as 9x, 9n plus x, so this list of numbers that I have taken is 9n plus 1s. And when I have taken 9n plus 1s, what has got removed is the entire list of 9n plus 8s. The number 8, 17 and 26 in maths can be represented as 9, 9 plus 8, 8 more than a multiple of 9. So when you take in 9 and plus 1s, you have to eliminate 9 and plus 8s. Likewise, when you take it 9 and plus 2s, these are the 9 and plus 2s. So if you if you put in all the numbers, if you put in all the numbers 2, 11, 20 and 29, you will have to eliminate all the 9 and plus 7s. You can think about it this way also, numerically also. If you take in 2, you will have to eliminate 7, 16 and 25 because 2 plus 7 is 9, 2 plus 16 is 18 and 2 plus 25 is 27. If you put 2 and 25 together in this list, the problem is this condition of no two numbers adding up to a multiple of 9, that gets removed or that gets disobeyed. So you can't do a 25 if you are putting a 2 there. Right? So, so you can take in all these four numbers and likewise you can take in all these four numbers and you can reject the 9n plus 6s. Take the 9n plus 3s. So 3, 12, 21 and 30. And take the 9n plus 4s. You take this and you reject this. So you take 4, 13 and 22 and reject 5, 14 and 23. You reject these, so you are you, not going to get any two numbers having a multiple of 9 as a sum. Now, this is not the full answer, because to this answer, you can pick up and add any one of these 9n. These are your 9n numbers, multiples of 9. So you can pick up any of these 9n numbers and add any one of them. Please remember, you can't add two of them, because if you add the moment you add 9 and 18, these two numbers by themselves give me a multiple of 9. So I can, I can take only one, any one 9n number in this and hence uh, if I take 9 by itself or I take 18, it does not matter, it's not about which number I have taken, it's about how many numbers I have taken. So the correct answer to this question is 16 numbers in this case. 16 numbers are being built in this case. But how do we count this for 3000 then? When I go to 3000, this will go to 36 and I cannot do this physical count this way. So is there a smarter way, now that I have understood how to do this, is there a smarter way to count the 16? Is there a smarter way to count the 16? So the smarter way to count the 16, let me just uh, rub this, this part off a little bit, so that it becomes a little bit more, I am not of course going to write all those numbers again. I will uh, hope you can understand this. I am just rubbing off things which are now not required for the next thinking. So what's happening in this case, a smarter way to get this to the 16 is that when you go for the first 9 multiples, the first, first 9n from 1 to 9, you are able to take 4 numbers out and 5 numbers you are, I mean these 4 numbers you are taking and the other 4 numbers you are rejecting and that 9 you are taking but we will we'll keep that separate because that's only available in one case. We are building a case which is building every time. In the next multiple of 9 from 9, 10 to 18 till you reach 18, you are again taking 4 numbers. And the next one, you are again taking 4 numbers. So, why are you getting 16 here? It's because you got 3 completed sets of 9. And for each of them, you are taking 4 numbers. That's 3 into 4, 12. In the incomplete set, you are going from 9n plus 1, 9n plus 2, 9n plus 3. So, there are only 3 numbers here. If this had gone till 31, then you take 4 for this also. But here, since the question was till 30, you just see your incomplete set, because this, no, this set is not going all the way to 36. If it was till 36, we would call it a complete set, then we would take 4 more. But this is stopping at 30, so the incomplete set will only take 3, 3 numbers from, from the incomplete set, and uh, one, 1 number of 9n. That's the reason this answer is 16. So 3 into 4 is getting mapped here, The the uh, sorry 3 into 4 is getting mapped here 
So let me just rewrite that. 3 into 4 is getting mapped here. And uh, the incomplete set is getting mapped here. And the one multiple of 9 is getting mapped here. So now the only thing left is uh, when, when I go back to this question, the question is not telling me 30, it is telling me 3000. So the only thing I have to now do is how do I do this for 3000? So the, the situation just becomes a, a question of trying to work out that when I go from 1 to 9 and 10 to 18, I'll be able to take 4 numbers every time. Now into how many complete sets of 9 are there? So in, in 30, 30 divided by 9, there are 3 complete sets of 9. So in 3000, 3000 divided by 9, there will be 333 complete sets of 9. And the 333rd set of 9 ends at 333 into 9, which is 2997. This is the last set. You can even visualize this, although you don't need it. 2989 to 2997. That's the last set. So there are 333 complete sets. So in each of these sets, you can take four numbers. You can take one number of 9n. Any one number, 9, 18, 2, 9, 9, 7, you can choose which one you want. As I said, the value does not matter. What matters is how many of them can you take. Because the question is not about which ones you take. The question is about how many maximum number of questions uh, numbers happen in the subset. And then when you go to the last three sets, last three numbers, uh, you have the in incomplete set 2998, 2999, and 3000. Since you are going up to 3000, including 3000, in the incomplete set there are three more numbers. So plus three will give me 1332 plus one plus three, 1336. Hence, the answer to this question is 1336. So I hope you're enjoying this series and uh, uh, that is all for this uh, set and um, I hope you will share these videos and talk to uh, tell tell others about this so that we can grow as a channel and uh, bring bring more uh, fantastic stuff for all of you. Do write uh, your comments on the video and do tell me that you are enjoying this otherwise it becomes difficult to motivate myself to do this all the day all the time. Chalo, see you then. Bye-bye.